For only the third time in the last 12 weeks, the favorites actually held the upper hand last weekend as the Chalks went 3-1 straight up and against the spread in the divisional round of the playoffs, a complete reversal of the wild card round a week earlier when the underdogs dominated, winning and covering three of four contests. So heading into today's conference championship games, we've got an even split between the favorites and underdogs in Vegas through eight preseason games played so far, both straight up and against the spread. But overall, guys, the dogs have still been the overwhelming choice in Las Vegas, going 87, 68, and 5 versus the odds makers over the past 12 weeks. Hi, everyone. Al DeMarco here, general manager and lead analyst for the world's largest online sports handicapping community. And today I'm going to be breaking down the games between the Jets, Colts, and Vikings Saints. But before I do, a couple of other significant trends to update you on. Road teams are now 137, 122, and 5 against the spread on the season, 15 games over 500 after the Jets scored the only point spread win on the highway last weekend with their huge upset of the Chargers in San Diego. But the one trend that delivers week after week is now a perfect 8-0 in the postseason as those pesky straight-up winners have covered every single game so far in the postseason. But really, no big surprise. I mean, if you've been watching me here all throughout this season, I've been informing you straight up winners in the regular season went 199, 52 and 5 versus the odds makers, meaning they covered at a 79.3% clip on the year. Once again, if we just had a magic ball on a way to automatically just pick the straight up winner, you got the point spread winner as well at over an 80% clip, you know over uh, the course of the regular season, even better here in the postseason, 8-0. Even better yet, if we go back to the beginning of the preseason in August, near 85% dating back to August. Now, as for the conference championships, there's a couple of significant trends to keep in mind. You know, generally speaking, the games aren't that close. Since the AFC-NFC merger of 1970, 59 of the 78 games played have been decided by a touchdown or more. 48 times the margin of victory has been greater than 11 points. And taking it a step further, only nine of the 78 games played have been decided by a field goal or less, 19 by six or fewer points. And does home field advantage pay in the round of the playoffs, this round of the playoffs? Well, guys, you better believe it. Home team, since 1970, 44, 32, and 2 versus the odds makers, a healthy 12 games over 500, while the favorites are 11 games over at 36, 25, and 2 against the spread. And one final trend to note, high scoring games have been the norm in recent years as the over is 12 and 4 the past eight seasons. Of course, if history always repeated itself and all these trends held true to form, they wouldn't call it gambling, right? Now, let's get to today's game between the Colts and the Jets in Indianapolis. The Colts laying anywhere from 7.5 to 8 points in this one. And public perception, of course, factors into the price of this game. The Jets remain the feel-good underdog story after back-to-back -back upsets on the road of the Bengals and the Chargers. This, of course, a Week 16 rematch. Remember, that was the game Colts coach Jim Caldwell pulled his starters with Indianapolis up 15 to 10 in the third quarter. And when he did, of course, the Jets came back, rallied for the easy 29-15 win. That ended Indianapolis' undefeated season. A couple of things to keep in mind in that game, though. Peyton Manning, prior to being pulled, 14 for 20, 192 yards. And in that game, New York ran for 202 yards as Thomas Jones ran for 105 and Sean Green for 95. Those two combined for 169 on the ground last week against San Diego Chargers. Now, here's one problem with the Jets in this game. You know, this is their third straight game on the road, their fourth in five weeks on the highway, their sixth game on the road in eight weeks, dating back to early December. Of course, the Colts are 5-2 and two straight up and against the spread at home in their last seven games in Indianapolis in the postseason. You know, last Saturday, I hit my 15-dime teaser of the year using New Orleans and Indianapolis. And in this particular game, I think the way to go again is to play a teaser. And of course, in a standard two-team teaser, you're getting six points to play with. So here's what I would recommend doing. You're going to take Indianapolis down, take them down using the six points to reduce the points you're laying with the Colts to about one and a half to two points, okay? Then take the total up. 
Total right now is sitting around 39 points. You're going to raise it up to 45, and then you're going to play it under the total. So play Indianapolis around one and a half to two, and then play the under after inflating the total price. Now, before I get to the NFC matchup, quick reminder, guys, the Golden Nugget, along with us running an incredible contest, which is free for all of you to enter. And here's the deal in conjunction with the Golden Nugget. We are offering a free High Rollers Getaway Weekend to one lucky winner every 30 days. And here's what you get. A free High Roller Suite at the Golden Nugget Hotel Casino in Las Vegas. Free VIP limo transportation to and from the airport. Free VIP check-in treatment and two free tickets to the Gordy Brown Show at the theater at the Golden Nugget. And guys, the best part about this contest is no purchase is necessary. Just go to our website. You'll see it in the upper right-hand corner where you enter. Enter your email address, your information, and one lucky winner is going to be awarded that free VIP Getaway High Rollers Weekend free every 30 days. Guys, the Golden Nugget is where I play. It's where I stay. The great thing about the Golden Nugget, I got to tell you, no phoniness. You're not going to find all those phony volcanoes exploding. You're not going to find all the phony people. You will find absolute top-notch luxury. Just opened the brand new Rush Tower about a month ago. I got to tell you guys, it's where I stay. A phenomenal place. Also going to find one of the top sports books in Vegas. Not one of these big auditoriums, you know, where you're going to find 600 people just sitting there. I mean, I, I can't tell you the atmosphere in that place last week for last Sunday's games where it seemingly everybody was on the Cowboys, of course, except me, I had the Minnesota Vikings, but uh, to see what was going on. And then later in the day when the Jets were pulling off that huge upset of the Chargers, I mean, it's just great to be in a sports book where everybody is gambling on the games. Rather than being in an auditorium like so many of those places on the, on the strip where guys are just kind of mulling around because they've got nothing better to do while their wives are out playing video poker. Guys, once again, High Rollers Getaway Weekend, the free contest, enter now on our site in conjunction with the Golden Nugget. Now, the NFC title game is the dream matchup we've all wanted. Brett Favre versus Drew Brees as Minnesota visits New Orleans. Vikings, my best bet, as I said, last Sunday, a 34-3 route of Dallas. Brett Favre, 234 yards, four touchdowns in that game. You know, going back, his last 10 quarters of play, Brett Favre has completed 61 of 86 passes for 835 yards and 10 touchdowns. Now, Minnesota has won eight of the last nine in the series, winning and covering each of the last four. And remember, the last time the Vikings were an underdog, three-and-a-half-point road dog at Green Bay November 1st. I had him that day. 38-26, they beat the Packers at Lambeau. Now, of course, New Orleans coming off the 45-14 route of Arizona. That's the same Arizona team that beat up Minnesota in Arizona, 30-17 on December 7th with Kurt Warner throwing for 285 yards and three touchdowns against that Minnesota secondary. And on that day, Arizona got to Brett Favre, sacking him three times, also picking him off twice, held Adrian Peterson that day to a season low 19 yards on 13 carries. So you've got the Vikings who are 9-0 at home, but they've lost three in a row on the road to the Cardinals, Panthers, and Bears. Then again, this is the same Saints team that got manhandled at home, remember, suffering their first loss of the season by the Dallas Cowboys, that same team the Vikings crushed last Sunday. A little confused about which way to go in this game. I've given you a lot of reason, a lot of thought to go one way or another. Well, guys, there's no confusion on my part. This is my 15-dime NFC playoff game of the year winner, number three in a row in New Orleans, Minnesota. Number one, the Cowboys over the Eagles in the wild card round. Number two, the Vikings over Dallas last weekend. Do I ride the Vikings again today as a road dog? Or do I take the Saints as a small home favorite? I'm 8-1 and one, the last nine Sundays with my 15-dime releases on a 26-7-1 run. With these 15-dime plays, the past two years combined after last weekend's 2-0 sweep, I also entered this round of the playoffs on a 46-27-2 NFL world the past two seasons, winning 12 of my last 17 best bets. Make sure you get my latest 15-dime best bet winner now, my NFC playoff game of the year winner number three in a row. That'll do it today, guys. Make sure you cash in for a Another easy winner.